over here is a four-seater KVIP latrine that has been constructed by Catholic Relief Services Ghana for our healthcare facilities and the schools. So we have 276 of this across three districts. That is the three, the three districts of Talensi, West Mampusi Municipal, and then Mampugu Mwaduri. And then uh, they are done in schools and then in healthcare facilities. And we are seeing that there are 276 of them that have been completed. We have our hand washing stations that are, that are there. We have our murals that is saying that don't forget to wash your hands with soap, uh, water and soap after leaving the toilet. We also have a rain water, a rain water harvesting system that has been constructed to help uh, in terms of uh, uh, water shortage and water issues. have also been uh, improved by adding a urinal by it such like that uh, these and this urinal have been properly constructed and tiled for uh, effective cleaning and then uh, uh, maintenance when you come here this is the female side you realize that we have a path changing room and in this path changing room we have a mirror we have a hanger and then we have a water uh, 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 listen, a pipe here for uh, our female people to wash their hands after, uh, before and after the, uh, they use the pad. We have a sprout here, and the sprout is meant for disposing of the, the used sanitary pad through there. This falls into the uh, serrator at the back that has been created at the back to properly uh, uh, dispose of or uh, burn off the used pad. But this mirror is also positioned strategically because most of our uh, when you go to school most of the school girls complain that when they finish they are not able to check themselves uh, to see whether they have sold themselves or not so this part uh, this mirror is positioned such that when the female uh, student changes she can stand this way and she'll be able to see the back and know that she hasn't sold herself so that is why the mirror is also here to support them and then when you come inside the toilet as you can see this uh, this, this this is to show that it is created by Catholic Relief Services, as you can see here. And then when you come into the toilet, inside the toilet, this is a disability-friendly latrine that has the rules for our persons with special needs to be able to, to use when they come in. And then you realize that we have fitted in sato pans. The sato pans are such that when the feces drop in, the lid closes automatically to prevent flies from having access to the toilet. And then in one of the chamber, they don't have the wheels there. So how you just squat in uh, and then you are off. So both can be used by anyone. And then when you go beyond, uh, behind the toilet, let me, let me just show you how the toilet When you come behind the toilet, over here, we have a properly constructed set of things over there. The wastewater and the urine from the, the urinal will go in here. We have the insulator for burning the used sanitary pad. This is the sprout. When you drop it inside the pad from the pad changing room, it drops, it passes through the sprout into the insulator and then it is bent. Uh, it is bent here and then the smoke passes through there. So this is just to let you know that uh, these are latrines are not just the normally constructed latrines, but they, a lot of thoughts have gone into it to ensure that they are disability friendly, gender friendly, and they are also uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, uh, thank you.